Well, yeah, we farm, uh, our main farm is located right up by uh, Rosetown, Manitoba, and uh, we farm kind of from the U.S. border up to 23 Highway and uh, grow a combination of wheat, canola, dry beans, and corn. Tell us a little bit about uh, harvest so far this year. Obviously, we're stopped down today because we did have, thankfully, some rain over the weekend, but what have you done up to this point? Yeah, we've been very thankful for the rain that we just got. Uh, the wheat's all in the bin. We've done a little bit of canola, so I think after the uh, sun comes out and things get going again, we should be able to uh, keep going with the canola. <laughs> Uh, you know, the wheat was all over the board. It's kind of wherever the rains fell and where they didn't fall. So some fields were better than anticipated, some were a little bit worse. But uh, overall, we were pleasantly surprised with the wheat crop. Tell us a little bit about the crew that you have helping in, out here on any given day. Uh, we've got a really good group of guys. Uh, some come from Mexico, some were born and raised here in Canada. Um, just a really good group of guys, fun to work with. Uh, everybody enjoys being around each other and it's just a fun overall environment. Now for you, uh, was farming the, the be all end all right out the gate or is this something that you found yourself kind of moved to do as you got older? Uh, I grew up on a farm out by Christmas City Snowflake and uh, when Jamie and I got uh, married then I moved over here and uh, yeah, so farming's just been in the blood and that's what I've always wanted to do and I'm just thankful that I get to do that. What do you enjoy the most about getting up every morning at the crack of dawn and turning wheels whether it's in a combine tractor or a truck? Uh, you know, I just enjoy being able to put seeds in the ground watch them grow, take care of them, and then take the harvest off at fall and be able to teach my young girls the different parts of farming, whether it's seeding, spraying, harvest, whatever it is, just trying to teach them so that the next generation has a chance to love it as much as I do.